It was the game of the young season in Genesee County with Beecher looking to knock off undefeated Carmen Ainsworth for the second straight year in front of the coaches from LSU, Oregon, and Miami of Ohio at Mott's Ballinger Fieldhouse. The Bucks get off to a fast start thanks to Ernest Sanders. The senior gets into the paint and steps through for the game's first bucket. A couple of trips later, the Kentucky football signee with a bad miss out of the corner, but he makes up for it following his own shot and lays it in. CA calls for timeout. Bucktown takes a 9-3 lead. The Cavs come out of the huddle on fire. Daryl Scroggins triples to give CA the lead. Then it's Jaden Nunn on the break to the rack for the bucket and one. The freebie also good to put CA up 24-20 late in the second. The Bucks reclaim control before the break. Carmelo Harris from Steph Curry territory. Nothing but the bottom. Jalen Terry had a quiet half dealing with plantar fasciitis. But the foot looks fine here. Beecher heads into the locker room with a 27-24 lead. They go back and forth in the opening minutes of the third. Great ball movement by the Cavs to find Isaiah Jones underneath. He led CA with 17 points. Then it's Makai Ellison with the double clutch for two of his eight. But the Bucks come right back at him. Keon Minifield to Sanders, who's the highest in the room. He had 14 points and nine boards. He's going to be a receiver for the Cats, but Coach Stoops may want to give him a look at defensive back. Sanders with the chase down block at the rim. The Bucks take it the other way. Terry sets up Minifield in the corner for three. Beecher goes up eight with five to play, and Ballinger Fieldhouse comes unglued. But the Cavs refuse to go away. Scroggins pulls up from the baseline. That cuts the lead to four. Mello has an answer. The sophomore hits him with the crossover. Then the up and under finish. But it was still a two point game with under a minute to play. Mello is fouled as he throws one up. And they call it intentional. He'd hit all three free throws and then add another pair. And that would do it. Mello scored a game high 21 as Beecher hands Carmen Ainsworth its first loss of the year, 60 to 55. Like they just keep on it. They probably think we sat down with JP or we sat down with E, uh, we win the game, but we got young cats. Uh, that's who. Right. Mello, that's Mello huge free throw. We shoot free throws every day. Man. Me, me and Mello shoot the same room. Like he doesn't miss. He, he really missed that big thing. So we, we like, it's nothing new, nothing new. I was just locked in for like three free throws. I knew it was going to be big and I was going to put them away. So I just had to focus real hard and, and shoot. It's just like a second energy to me. Like breathing, I just, I just go out there and do it. So we played good defense. We played as a team. You know, we, we had some bumps in the road, but we, you know, we overcame them. And our coach, you know, Compton Town got us right. This is a basketball city. And so anytime we get an opportunity to, you know, display what we can do in front of the whole city, you know, it's a great event. And so I, I just think we, we proved that we're one of the top teams, not just in the city, but in the state, because uh, Carmen's one of the top teams in the state. And, and not, not to mention that, you know, our kids can compete against anybody.